Hanak Enoch 41. After this, I beheld the secrets of the heavens and of paradise, according to its divisions, and of the action of mankind, as they weight it there in balances. I saw the habitations of the elect, and the habitations of the holy, and there my eyes beheld all the sinners who denied Yahuwah of glory, and whom they were expelling from there, and dragging away as they stood there. No punishment proceeding against them from Yahuwah Savaot. There too my eyes beheld the secrets of the lightning and the thunder, and the secrets of the winds, how they are distributed as they blow over the earth. The secrets of the winds, of the dew, and of the clouds. There I perceived the place from which they issued forth and became saturated with the dust of the earth. There I saw the wooden receptacles out of which the winds became separated, the receptacle of hail, the receptacle of snow, the receptacle of the clouds, and the cloud itself which continued over the earth before the world. I beheld all, also the receptacles of the moon, whence they came, whither they proceeded, their glorious return, and how one became more splendid than the other, rather than another. I marked their rich progress, their unchangeable progress, their disunited and undiminished progress, their observance of a mutual fidelity by a stable oath. The sun goes out first and completes its journey in obedience to the command of Yahuwah Savaot. Potent is his name forever and ever. After this, the path that both concealed and manifested the moon, as well as the progress of its path, was there completed by day and by night, while each, one with another, looked towards Yahuwah Savaot, magnifying and praising without cessation, since praise to them is rest. For in the splendid sun, there is a frequent conversation to blessing and to malediction. The course of the moon's path to the righteous is light, but to sinners it is darkness. In the name of Yahuwah Savaot, who created a, a division between light and darkness, and separating the Ruachot of men, strengthened the Ruachot of the righteous in the name of his own righteousness. Nor does the angel prevent this, neither is he endowed with the power of preventing it. For the judge beholds them all and judges them all in his own presence.